Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be reviewing the Sigma 4D HD brush. Now, what really caught my eye was basically how different this is. Like, it's a pyramid. It's basically what it is. It's a pyramid shape. So I read on the website that it's best for concealer so it could get right under the eyes, right uh, where like this crevice of like where the nose is. Now with my sponge, it usually is kind of difficult to get right in there. Um, so I usually have to like move my nose a little bit and like, I don't know, go in. Um, it still misses some spots so I think this will be great to get right into the crevices because right, it does have four edges four edges and uh, four sides right there as well and also with the pointed tip. So we're just gonna go in and uh, see how this works. So I already did my foundation, my eyes, uh, my brows and because this is supposed to be good for concealer, this is what I'm gonna do. Also, what do you guys think of my hair? So I just did it I think last week or so. Um, so this is after one wash. Um, I wanted like that blush pinkish kind of color. Um, of course, obviously the pink is gonna fade a lot faster. I usually have like that grayish silver hair, but I had it for so long, so I was like, you know what, I need to change this up. Anyways, I don't know. You can't really see the pink too much right now in this light. Um, and in certain lighting, you can see it looks more blonde. So. I don't know, what do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think. Um, I do need a trim soon. My hair has grown so much. I never realized how long it was until like yesterday after washing my hair. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I think I need to trim this a little bit. So these lashes are from Leon Cosmetics. I believe she's a Vancouver based, but her prices are in uh, US dollar. You can buy individually, you can buy in a pack of 6 or a pack of 12. Just an FYI, this video is not sponsored, so... I'm just giving you guys an idea of what her store sells. So they do sell, um, I believe it was uh, liquid lipsticks, lashes, a beauty blender, brushes. So by now... My concealer is usually pretty tacky, so I usually have this weird one eye thing and then just go in with uh, my concealer. Okay, so let's see how this blends out. So I'm just going to use the flat side. Just blend everything out. Wow. That blends out beautifully. So I could get really right into my tear duct right there and blend it out and get right into the nose right here. Huh. That blended out really, really nicely. Now I always had like this thought where like um, brushes will always leave streak marks. I'm pretty sure some brushes do, but I never really found a brush where it did not leave streak marks, but I like this. I really like this. Especially how like I could get right into the nose area. That's a plus for me. So let's go with the top. So I could blend this out very easily right where my, my forehead, in between my brows, my T-zone area. It's like a perfect fit there. Onto my nose. I think we have a winner. I really, really like this. A Canadian Thanksgiving not too long ago. I hope everyone had a great time. My first impressions right now is it blends beautifully. I really, really like this so far. So the brush does retail for 25 um, US. And don't mind me, I'm just finishing off the rest of my face because I find it awkward where I'm talking to you guys with one side with my lashes on. Anyway, so it does re retail for $25. So with the conversion, that's almost like 30 bucks. So with the shipping, 
um, it's almost like $50 when you do the conversion. Um, it's not bad. So I really, really like the brush. But for $50 in total, I don't know. That's pretty expensive. But most good brushes are high up there in price anyway. But if I lived in the US, I'm pretty sure shipping would, wouldn't be that much. I don't know. It, take this with a grain of salt. If you, if you guys really want this, I would recommend it. If you don't want to pay $50, then you could totally find a different brush that is a dupe. Yeah, it will just work the same. Is it going to be the same shape as that? I really, really highly doubt it, but I'm pretty sure there are other brushes out there that you can use to basically blend out your concealer. So anyways, those are my thoughts for the Sigma 4D HD brush. It's just a short and sweet video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!